All right, one of the biggest questions you ever see on these forums is what batteries to use. I'll show you a little bit about my setup. It's quite unique. Um, start off with, this is a Harbor Freight, uh, like a Pelican style case. I got it open, well, it cracked open there, so it's easier to do one-handed here on the video. But it does shut, stays pretty watertight. Um, if you uh, look, I got the magazine sitting up there so you can just get a perspective about how big it is. Uh, just a little bit bigger than a magazine. Um, and then before I open it up, you look back here, I've got a uh, connector. That, that is not a connector you'll find at uh, AutoZone or something where um, they're tiny, tiny wire size. It is a 10 gauge wire coming out of that connector. So that connector I can plug my motor to or I've also got my uh, charger set up just to plug right into that. So I charge everything without ever having to uh, fiddle with uh, any of the works. <clears throat> so we open it up. And inside here, I've got, uh, these are two 40 amp hour uh, LifePo batteries uh, made by Valance. Um, one of the uh, great things I like about them is uh, these funky looking cables. These are communication cables for the uh, BMS. So you plug in, I've got one set plugged in. So both BMSs talk to each other. Um, so one, issue you have with parallel connecting LifePo batteries is when one is fully charged, it, the BMS for one will shut the entire system down for the other and might not let it fully charge. Or vice versa, if one is fully discharged, the BMS for that battery will shut the other will shut the system down so you can't fully use the uh, remaining juice in the second battery. <clears throat> So again, uh, just those communication cables. Not very many LiPo's have those. That's one reason why I really like these. And then for the connections on these, uh, might be hard to see, but if you look on the negative side, <clears throat> I've got one, you see jumper coming across here, negative to negative. This, uh, then there's a negative here. This goes back to the battery connection. So the negative for the system comes off of this battery. Um, then if we kind of peek down here a little further, the positive from the battery connects over here to the second battery. <clears throat> so you want to pull your, uh, your charge off of your batteries in that fashion anytime you connect parallel. Negative off of one battery, positive off of the other battery. And then of course there's also down here the positive to positive jumper between those two batteries and all these cables are the same length so again to keep the system balanced negative off of one battery positive off of the other battery and then keep all your jumpers the same length and then keep the the wires going to your battery connection the same length that helps balance everything out especially when your bms's can't talk to each other and then finally down in the bottom of this thing i've got a uh just a, a circuit breaker to protect the, the system sitting on just a little board kind of gives a nice little spacer to the uh, uh, to my case and, and keeps the batteries from sliding around or crushing that uh, that circuit breaker. So this unit becomes entirely self-contained um, and then my motor system is self-contained. So all I need is this in the motor and then I can swap it between any kayaks so pretty interesting system and from what i've seen out there so just a little heads up see what you like